This video is brought to you by the paleness reflecting off my skin like Edward Cullen from Twilight, thanks to my window. Same as the last video, just figured I'd point that out. Alright, so it's been a while since we talked about J-Rock news, right? Yeah. So when do I ever talk about anything good with J-Rock? Never. I never say anything good about J-Rock, because something bad always happens in J-Rock. And last month, I'm really behind, sorry. Last month, sort of the J-Rock apocalypse happened when two really big Visual K groups, Mix Speakers Inc. and IABA, um, revealed some major changes going on in their groups regarding members doing what else? Leaving. Yeah, this is a sad day. I'm just talking about members leaving their groups that they've been a part of for so long. Um, so basically the two groups, IABA and Mixed Speakers Inc., um, have decided to part ways with, actually both of them are losing their vocalists, but IABA is also losing their bassist. Let's start with IABA. They're an interesting bunch, aren't they? Because they've been through a lot. Like in 2010, the interestingness happened when their lead singer, Aoi, he decided to leave the group because of musical differences. Oddly enough, all the other members wanted to stay and be a part of Ayabie. But we're not here to talk about Aoi. We're literally here to talk about every single other member in Ayabie. The members Kenzo, uh, Intetsu, Takhito, and Yumehito, they all formed Ayabie, like the big capital letters one. Something interesting happened in February last year, however, because it was announced by Ayabie that they would be gaining a fifth member, but not as a vocalist or any guitar. He would be a keyboardist sort of took the road of Anticafe and adding a keyboardist to a group that never previously had a keyboardist, and so this keyboardist's name is Taito. And he became the fifth member of Ayabie. Unfortunately, in July, it was announced that the drummer, Kenzo, would be leaving the group. Um, so they were back to being four members. Oh, by the way, interesting thing to mention, when Aoi left original IABA, um, Yumehito decided he would take on the role as the vocalist. He was, he was originally one of the guitarists, so he is the new vocalist for IABA, but not anymore, because it was announced in December that Yumehito and also the bassist um, Intetsu, um, that they would be leaving the group uh, on December 31st, 2013. So that day's already come and passed because I'm late, sorry. Um, and it was announced that uh, Takhito and Taito would continue Ayabie, but they would have to find new members. I could list a whole bunch of bands that have done this, um, but it's just interesting with Ayabie because they've now lost every single core member except for Intetsu. So right now they've only got a guitarist and a keyboardist, which is interesting. But this will mean that Ayabie will have to find a third vocalist in their less than 10 year history of existing. And that's pretty rare. Usually it's like a guitarist or a bassist or drummer, basically anybody but the vocalist that leaves the group. So for them to have it happen in the second time really sucks. There of course is no reason. Like if there ever is a reason, it's usually musical differences but, um, so, that's a super bummer. Ayabi has been around for forever. They have amassed a lot of fans. They're one of the more popular J-Rock slash Visual K groups. Um, and they've only got one core member left. But no, that wasn't bad enough, right? Mixed Speakers Inc. had to get into it and be like, Hey, by the way, you have vocalists leaving? So do we. Nothing about this is good. And Ace disbanded. I figured I should say that. And I love them. And I love Shangri-La, and I love that they were s stupid little cute pirates dancing on the beach, and they're disbanding, and I'm really sad. This sucks. Alright, but anyway. Uh, so Yuki from Mixed Speakers Inc. announced that he would also be leaving the group in April. In April. I had to look that up. Um, and he was in this group for as long as they were around, too. They debuted in 2006. Um, and Mixed Speakers Inc. is not only known for their elaborate costumes based off of fantasy, sci-fi, um, and sort of medieval, basically anything with monsters, basically. Uh, 
Um, they were also known for having two vocalists, the other one being Mickey. As a reason for leaving, he mentions that his and the other members' opinions on their future direction differ. So, musical differences. Um, but he's leaving in April, so he's still around right now. I'm not too late on that one, but he announced this um, early December that he'd be leaving. It's unknown if McSpeakers Inc. is going to try to find a, um, a replacement vocalist or if they're going to continue as one, or whatever the case may be. Um, but they're not going to be known for their two vocalists sort of like play off each other sort of thing that they've been doing for seven years, and that sucks. But I was looking up information about Mixed Speakers, Inc. There's some really interesting stuff here. Like in November, before Yuki announced that he was going to leave, they released a song called The End. And if that isn't just some sort of weird voodoo fate magic happening, I don't know what is. Uh, another thing that I found interesting as I was looking mixed speakers ink up was that all of the members, Aya, Seek, uh, Keiji, S, and Mickey are all from a band called Isabel, well, previously. And Yuki's the only one who wasn't from that band. So maybe because they were all bonded together except for Yuki previously? Like, they all had some sort of clear musical direction in mind, and Yuki not being from Isabel, maybe, maybe? Conspiracy theories. They're great, aren't they? So, the chain rock apocalypse has begun full force. It's just, why? And how? And why? And why? I don't want my bands to go. Um, but this is the, the life of the J-Rock fan, so... For anybody who wants to get into J-Rock, welcome! This is the shit show you're going to be getting yourself into. Your heart will be constantly broken. The only band you can really rely on is ones that are solo X, Like Miyavi. And Gat. And Kaya. Um, and never have a favorite group because they will break up. That's what I've learned from J-Rock. But I still love it. It's like an abusive relationship. Just gotta keep coming back. Gotta keep coming back for more torture. Um, that was a terrible comparison. But anyway, what do you guys think about this? Do you think Ayabie can still maintain popularity? Because they are still fairly, they're pretty popular, despite losing Aoi um, and Kenzo previously. Um, do you think that they can still maintain popularity if um, Takito and Taito find new members? Do you think... Mixed Speakers Inc. will be affected by Yuki leaving, that they can still have the same sort of bravado and power with one vocalist instead of two? Do you think they'll maybe find a new one? Would you like them if they find a, found a new one? Would you like them if they only had one vocalist? Let me know what you think. I have a hard time when I do this channel finding people who know J-Rock, um, let alone have an opinion on it, and so I would love to hear what you guys have to say. To the vocalists, I wish you guys the best of luck with whatever you guys decide to do, um, but I so wish you weren't leaving. Suck. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Um, but let me know what you think. I'm mad. How about you? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good day.